this is gonna be terrible. Hey y'all, it's Miranda here. And if you've watched our videos before, our meaning there's more than me, usually it's me and my husband, Corey, here to start off the vlog, do the vlog, all that sort of stuff. But today's video is a little bit different. So as you can see, I have a gigantic like neon green lime whatever something box here that says HelloFresh. And by the title of this video, you already know what's going on. So why am I sitting here explaining it? Anyways, so Corey is at work right now and the box got here. Y'all know what HelloFresh is, like the, the food delivery service that like get, gives, d d d delivers the stuff. Yeah, you know. Anyways, every single influencer is sponsored by them, all of them. Like literally everyone I watch. And Corey and I wanted to figure out if it was actually worth all the hullabaloo. So again, just a gigantic box. And you open it up and they give you this thing, which has like coupons and stuff in it. So that's not awful. And then they give you all of your recipes. Let's go ahead and get all the stuff out. Okay, bonus. It's all in bags. Yay. That's actually super useful. I thought we were just going to have a whole thing of uh, random ingredients. All right. So I've got everything in the fridge. Now, based on packaging and stuff, it's awesome. I mean, it, they give you everything that you need. I will say I got an email earlier and I'll put it right here. I got an email earlier that was saying like you need to make sure you have the kitchen essentials like butter and milk and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, that's fine. We have that stuff. But also I thought that everything came in the meal kit. I was just like confused because I legitimately thought that like, oh, if Corey and I buy this, like we don't have to get anything from the store, like nothing. Not true, just by the way. And Corey and I also actually did go grocery shopping this week and we're just gonna end up eating what we grocery shopped this week, next week, and just won't have to do meal planning next week. And I'll go ahead and insert a little clip of all of that fun. Alrighty. All right, it is time to go over the numbers. So we went grocery shopping for the week that we were doing HelloFresh, um, but do you want to Good. reveal the numbers? So HelloFresh for five meals, was 61.25 five meals for both of us so 10 yes. meals total was 61.25 and our groceries was 71.27 but <laughs> but but our groceries include lunch and dinner because all of our dinners that we make we have leftovers to eat for lunch the next day. yeah it our, all the meals that we make make at least four servings so yeah. for us, for both of us, that's at least two meals. Yeah, as well as we also got a meal for Saturday where HelloFresh yes. didn't give us a meal for Saturday. Yes. We actually ended up ordering food Saturday because we didn't have anything to make. Yes, because <laughs> I completely forgot that we wouldn't have food. Yeah. And then the last consideration is that a lot of the ingredients that we buy, like cheese and that, like, like panko breadcrumbs we love, um, eggs, milk, all that stuff, we use multiple times like yeah. those last us probably like two weeks on average um yeah. and hello fresh obviously like you use your own milk you use your own butter butter was the main thing we normally use like a pack of butter which i believe is four sticks of butter for like two three weeks and that's just because i love to bake honestly if i didn't bake it would last like way longer mm -hmm. but hello fresh we went through one of those packs in one week Jeez. Like, yeah. it yeah. was Hello ridiculous Fresh. how much butter they used, and I honestly hated it. Yeah, HelloFresh expects you to have butter and milk and stuff like that, and to use in their cooking as well. Yeah. So they don't, and oil. They don't oil. give you all the ingredients. Yeah. And also, with my grocery price, I did take out prices for stuff that we bought that were, like, that weren't used for the main meal. Like, like what? Like, uh like dessert stuff and snacks oh, yeah, 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 yeah. and stuff like that yeah he excluded all that breakfast he took meant out for dinner yeah so out. basically he tried to he was the one that did the math for this he tried to equate it as evenly as he could to exactly what HelloFresh like expects basically yeah. so um, the groceries were more expensive but we got 
almost double the meals out of it. Yeah. And they were only more expensive by $10.02. Yeah, I'm really <clears throat> curious as to where they get the claim that HelloFresh like saves money on groceries. Another thing that I want to say is we're very, very conscious about our food waste. I mean, the average American household probably wastes like a ton of food, like a ton, but we're like really conscious about it. Like we're constantly like, oh, these things we've had for a week, we really need to use them. Like strawberries we've had for like two weeks now. And they're just now starting to get to that point where we're like, okay, we need to use them. So we're going to make strawberry shortcake tonight. Like we're very, very conscious about making sure that we don't waste anything. So maybe mm -hmm. that's like where they talk about the wasted grocery amounts. Like maybe that's where that comes from. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. I'd love to see their math on it though, or like where, like what grocery store they compared it to. We should say that we got our groceries from Publix. Um, yes. And we do shop on sale, but we're not like extreme couponers by any means. Yeah. Like that's like the main difference is we go for the sale but we're not like constantly running through the ads and like trying to figure out yeah. what's on sale. Um, we should do that, but mm -hmm. <laughs> we wanted it to be as fair as possible. But yeah, so I was actually really surprised. I mean, Corey made the bet ahead of time that groceries would be like way cheaper, yeah. but it's I- like half the price. Yeah, almost. we should also mention, we used one of those like free meal gift card things when we set this up. So that was with, I think oh. two free meals. Yeah, that was, that was with $40 off, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Holy I'm a little crap. disappointed. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's kind of the financial take. So let's get on with the rest of the video. All right, y'all, I am here finally with Corey. So hello, if you're new here, this is Corey. <laughs> Um, we are on day one and today we decided to do the honey butter barbecue pork cutlets and we're just gonna see how this, uh, how this goes. So we are sitting down, we both have our completed meals and we were just gonna do a little quick taste test as we're probably gonna do every day. Um, I am most most skeptical of the green beans. So I really want to try that first. Well, I'm most skeptical of the sweet potatoes. Really? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna try the pork first? I'm gonna say you put a bite of the pork and then a bite of the sweet potato. Oh I yeah, he always combines together. his food. He like takes a bite of each thing. Not of each thing, but. Like with this, I'm going to take a bite of the pork and the sweet potatoes and that green bean separate. Oh, okay. That's fine. All right, you ready? Yep. You're not going to like the green beans. That's great to hear. You're not going to like them. They're very lemony. The pork is good. The sweet potatoes like don't have a taste if you eat them with the pork. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, so hold on. Now you have to try the green beans. I'm gonna do the pork. It's literally called lemony green beans. That's why they're lemony. Makes sense, huh? I mean, I think it tastes fine. Yeah, the green beans are a little too lemony, but. I feel like the uh, the good. advantage to this is this is definitely not something we would have thought to make, like at all. Yeah. So it at least got us to try something new. Yeah. Um, disadvantages. I mean, it was super quick. That's another advantage, it was super quick. We were actually running behind and we cooked it faster than it said we would but we also worked together to cook it, so. But disadvantages, um, I feel like the main disadvantage is that they expect you to have certain tools in the kitchen, like a potato masher, a lemon zester, like I had to use um, a salt grater. Salt and pepper that didn't come with it. Well, yeah, salt and pepper that didn't come with it, but like that's like super basic. I'm talking about tools that like not every single household will have. We happen to have a potato masher because I am a big fan of mashed potatoes but we didn't have a lemon zester, so I just had to use a grater and that did not go as well as I wanted it to, yeah. but it was fine. But I feel like that's it. So day one, Done. we're not dead. Okay, and day two, um, it is Tuesday and we normally do taco night. 
Yes. How do you feel about lacking your tacos? Very sad. I actually had them earlier today for lunch. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. So well, that's fine. good. It replaced it. But we <laughs> thought that we would go with this one for today because tacos, nachos, the O's. Like this. Makes sense. So we're going to go with this one today. And of course, still it's see-through right now, but it has the steps on the back. And I figured out, and I don't know why I didn't notice this the, uh, the first time, but it tells you exactly everything that you'll need over here. Obviously it lists the ingredients here, but in terms of like pans, pots, like kitchen utensils, or even ingredients that you need outside of the actual recipe, it lists it here. So like including the butter we need, vegetable oil, salt, pepper, a small bowl, a zester, which we don't have, and we explained that yesterday. Paper towel, small pot, medium bowls, aluminum foil, baking sheet. Let's do this. Okay, so I must commend myself on the plating for yeah. today. Um, this is definitely outside of my food comfort zone. Like even if I saw this recipe online, I wouldn't make it to be like completely honest. Yeah. Um, he, however, <laughs> he was the one that chose this recipe. That's why we're doing I it. I think it's gonna be very good. I don't know, we'll see. I think it's gonna be a little on the spicy side, but also there's lime on it. I wish there was a higher but, uh, meat to uh Meat yeah, to rice and vegetable. Ratio. I noticed that the chicken cutlets that we got were like so tiny, but then again, I guess that's technically a serving of meat. Yeah. But are you ready to try it? Yeah. Are we gonna do the chicken and the rice and the? I'm gonna do the chicken stuff. and rice and the stuffs. Okay, well I'm gonna do it separately. So right now I'm trying the chicken. That tastes like a taco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a taco. Okay, and then we the have chicken taco. Yeah, we have like green peppers and rice and That's very good, chives actually. and tomatoes. Okay, yeah, this is this meal is literally a taco. We did have taco Tuesday. The rice is is like the shell of the taco. Yeah. But yeah, I think this went well. This was definitely a success. I mean, in my book, because again, like I wouldn't have made this, and I actually like it. That's pretty cool. I have heard that that's like a huge advantage of HelloFresh is like it gets you to try things that you normally wouldn't try. So I think it was a success. I, 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 day two was a yeah. success. I'd say the only it's problem. Like bandita, so like, okay, yeah. let's do advantages, disadvantages. Advantages, I wouldn't have freaking cooked this, meaning you would have never eaten it. Two, disadvantages, it used a lot of dishes, like so many bowls, so many forks, spoons, a pot, a pan, a, a baking sheet, like a ton of stuff. But I mean, yeah, we had all this dishes. stuff, so it was fine, but it was just like a lot. A zester, which we don't have, so we didn't use. Yeah, so that's downfall, but on to day three, I guess. Whip. Hello. Hello, it is day three, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Wednesday. That is the third day of the work week. Yes. Yes. So today we are doing the steak with mushroom cream sauce as asked for by me because uh, I kind of wanted steak today. So of course you have all of your steps and everything on the back and it says that we need peeler, bake sheet, large pan, small bowl, all that fun stuff. And let's get on with this one. I'm so friggin' tired, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Yeah. That's the point of these things. They're supposed to be, uh, Easy, so hopefully. Hopefully it's easy. Yay! <laughs>
it is made. Um, the sauce came out a little uh, creamier than the uh, picture supposed. <laughs> so I don't know if I did something wrong or if the picture's unrealistic or what's happening. But I mean, this recipe was probably the hardest one so far, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I did it by myself mm -hmm. this time. He was working on an essay. Yeah, um, school sucks. Yeah. But you had to like use one pan, make something in it, take it out, wipe it, make something in it, take it out, wipe it, make something in it, combine it, take it out, wipe it. It, it was like this whole thing <laughs> for one pan. And I like didn't understand because everything's going to get mixed anyways. But okay, sorry. Let's do a taste test. Try. Right. I think that might be my favorite one so far, actually. Mmm. Mm. It's just because I made it. <laughs> um, the sauce is very good. So, advantages this time are like pros. Definitely not something I would have ever made. And I am actually keeping the recipe cards now because it tells you how much of everything they have. And uh, I'm def I definitely want to make this again, like in the future. Yeah. Cons, yeah. another thing I noticed is the meats that they give you are not like the same size, which is really weird. And it wasn't a problem the other two days, but today in particular, the steak, one of them was like one and a half times the size as the other one. So when I cut it, I had to like kind of evenly split, which kind of sucked. But I mean, that's something that you can do. Like it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. Yeah. But it was just kind of weird that like it wasn't the same size steak. Huh. Um, other than that, I mean, Gucci. Day four. Day four with Fun Duo. Day four. Okay, today we are gonna do the like pork open faced so oh open faced pork sausage sandwiches. Again, instructions on the back. The only extras you need are olive oil and butter. Let's do this, buddy. Okay, so we have our sandwiches and Corey is hurrying up eating because this one actually took longer than it said on the card. And he has to go like now. <laughs> so he's going ahead and eating. How is it, baby? Very yummy. Very yummy. Okay, this is yet another one that we definitely would not have made um, outside of this. Oh my goodness. All right. Pros definitely wouldn't have made it without it. I found something I like with onions. Um, cons, this sauce didn't come out as drizzly as they wanted it, but it's fine. Um, another thing I figured out is we have Italian seasoning that wasn't used because you're supposed to use half a packet for two people and the whole packet for four. So that was a little weird that they gave us a whole instead of a half of a packet. Yeah. Um, what was the other thing that you said? Uh, I was saying that I wish they like pre-mixed stuff that needs to be mixed yes and okay make it like as long as it doesn't get soggy like i feel like mixing seasonings and stuff shouldn't be that big of a deal um and then the other point that we talked about was where their vegetables are sourced because we were talking about how the vegetables that we had were 10 times bigger not literally maybe like double the size of the ones that they showed on the thing <laughs> The, the, the recipe thing. And we ended up having like, of course, double the amount of vegetables, which is fine, but I don't know. I thought that was weird. So we were talking about like GMOs and all that and thought that that was weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, turned out well. He's gotta hurry up and go to work. So we'll go on to day five.
Hello, hello, hello. It's not the beginning of a video. It's the beginning yep. of day five. Yep. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, we are on day five. Our last meal that we have our chicken cutlets a la orange or whatever the frick they're called. Anyways, <laughs> I am kind of sad that we don't have any more of these to be completely honest but we'll get to that in our wrap up about how we felt this whole week we've got one more meal to cook i am wearing samantha joe's merch i know that someone's probably gonna ask about it because it's like it's adorable but anyways he's wearing a jeep shirt less exciting yeah um let's it's cook orange though and my favorite color is orange yeah let's cook and we're making orange chicken it's perfect you the freaking be issue here um the sauce is one percent like the picture was <laughs> um their sauce was a lot thicker i think and a lot orangier mine is a lot waterier and a lot tanner so it's not the consistency it should be but let's try the chicken if Bonduo will let you. Bonduo, Bonduo is, is trying to help himself. Right here. <laughs> yes, he's trying to help himself to chicken and green beans. Yeah, all in all, super, super good. Not like one of the top two we've had, but not one of the bottom two. Probably like right in the middle. Hey, buddy. <laughs> he's Sorry. putting his paw up and trying to grab it. Um, so advantages to this meal. Super good. Disadvantages. It was the most difficult one so far this week hi buddy it was the most was, difficult one i think it was also the longest one it was definitely the longest one hands down like it took double the time it said on the card and the um, card said 45 minutes yeah and the i think it's a 35 no it might have been 45 with prep time you're yeah, right with prep time, um and the steps usually like they're all six steps but usually it's like three steps in one this one was like 10 steps in one like, I have the card here. Let me just, like, step two, for example, was a freaking madhouse. <laughs> Place potatoes in reserve type sprigs in a medium pot with enough salt water to cover by two inches. Bring them, bring to a boil and cook until potatoes are tender. 15 to 20 minutes. Carefully removing this card time sprigs. Reserve one half cup of potato cooking liquid and drain return potatoes to pot off heat. Mash potatoes with shower cream and one tablespoon butter until smooth and creamy. Adding splash of the reserve potato cooking until cooking liquid as needed. Keep covered off heat until ready to serve as one step. <laughs> there was literally a step for each like piece of this meal. That was one step for the potatoes. The next one is one step for the green beans. The next one is one step for the chicken, one step for the sauce. That's serving, that's cutting everything up. <laughs> the hardest, the most off-timed because they've got you making all the potatoes, setting it to the side, making all the green beans, setting it to the side, cooking the chicken, setting it to the side, then cooking the sauce instead of like doing it at all at once to you know make sure that it comes out at the same time yeah. so i like had to reheat some stuff or like keep things on like simmer to like make sure they weren't messed up but that was a really long spiel to say this was super hard to make and i don't think the taste is worth it like the taste is really good but it was not worth all that shit <laughs> um but we're gonna eat and we'll do our little yeah. wrap up and that'll be the video. All right, so it has been a whole week of doing HelloFresh, and would you ever do it again? Not without coupons. Not without coupons. 
<laughs> yeah, so if you saw the financial portion, we literally just shot that, so hello. Yes, um, same clothes. Yes, if you <laughs> noticed. Um, we literally just shot the financial portion and we were super surprised, but yeah, I don't think we'll ever go out of our way to use HelloFresh just because of the financial aspect. I mean, in the future, if we're like super duper busy, maybe, or like if we're just feeling it one week to like mm. spice it up, I feel like, okay, pros, cons, <laughs> pros. We got to try new recipes that I like never would have thought to make. Yeah. That was like my number one positive. It was, it was kind of like having a, a restaurant kitchen in your yeah, house. Yeah, like, like you get to choose the meals that you want and it's like things that you've never tried before and all of them were like really good. And I'm honestly yeah. probably gonna like draw inspiration from it in the future to be honest. I think I'll miss that. I think I'll miss like having a new thing to try every single day. Yeah. Like that was really fun. So like, I feel like if we use it in the future, if we use it in the future, oh. it's gonna be because like, I'm bored of all the recipes that we've been doing. Only with coupons. Only with coupons. <laughs> it's no, like, shit. <laughs> three, without coupons, it's like three times the price of grocery shop. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It, it's very So ridiculous. we would have to be very bored of our regular menu to go out of our way to use HelloFresh again. But, yeah. uh, cons, they don't give you everything you need. Um, some of the freaking instructions are ridiculous. They say like six steps, but it's like 20 steps in one. So it's like really confusing there. I mean, they're simple steps, but it's just like, by God, like just make it more than six steps instead of confusing me. Yeah. Um, and then you actually need like a lot of kitchen tools that I don't think the average American household has. Like we actually just got a zester because like, I was like, oh, like we don't have one. Um, but like we had a, a masher for the potatoes that was like purely by coincidence because his grandparents gave us that. Yeah, we wouldn't have had it. We wouldn't have had it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this was successful, but also kind of eye-opening because I was not expecting it to be like that. Yeah. I, I think that if we get bored of our menu, maybe like once, like every four to six months or something, we might think about doing it again. Um, we'll update you if you do, if we do, but like, I, I don't know. It wasn't like an enlightening experience or anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I liked it overall. The food was good. It got us to try new things and it was a lot better than I was expecting. So yeah. with that being said, and if you can hear the truck beeping in the background, I apologize. With that being said, this is the end of the video. This was probably the longest video we've ever worked on. Um, yeah. so hopefully it turns out good, but we will see y'all next time. Don't forget to like, like comment, comment, subscribe, and say hi down, down in the, the comments, comments below. below and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye. guys.